Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to TNO, the last years of Europe. I'm your host, Mr. Guangdong Lover, but complaints of the citizens. Ah, Chief Executive. What a pleasant surprise, Song Smoddy. You've picked a wonderful time. Please, please, take a seat. Masashita Masaharu warily took the plush seat on the other side of the table, idly. He wondered whether the Consul General would even realize when he was smiling anymore. Endless diplomatic pleasantry couldn't be good for a man, though in comparison to the general, Matsushita Masaharu can help but concede that the empty kindness actually served its purpose in moving things along. Yes, it is good as such fortuitous timing I brought. My apologies, Chief Executive, but I must bring my own concerns to the table. The consul's voice seemed to be slide off a cliff, finding some steel within itself. Matsushita Masaharu blinked. They were heading in another direction, it seemed. I mentioned your timing because just a few moments ago, I received a rather disturbing call from one of your Chinese citizens, you see. He'd been going along his business some hours ago when one of your policemen took him aside and beat him senseless on some trump-up charge. He was robbed, Chief Executive, by the very servicemen you claimed to protect men like him. Matsushita Masaharu blinked, the gears spinning. For traction in his eyes, he tried to recover. Well, well, that's terrible. A terrible thing, yes. We can begin an investigation. No need, saw so cut him off again. I felt a flash of anger shoot through his chest. By the consul's expression, his counterpart felt the same. Had he ever actually seen him angry? I dispatched Attaché Wang and his detachment to find the culprit. We have a badge number of name. This uh, behavior is unacceptable, Executive, and I strongly recommend that you punish the responsible officer. Is that clear? As assured, Consul, your concerns are as mine as well. Let's handle the issue. Perhaps you have too much time on your hands. Running investigations in my country like this? We don't want to do that. So in this one, geniality. It was Takashima today, a fact which made Masashida Masaharu want to kiss the floor beneath him. No military man, no officers, no hard stares from soldiers who thought themselves better than a negotiating partner. Just a bureaucrat, and a relatively reasonable one, too. Matsushita Masaharu hoped his feelings didn't show through his, his expression. That would be rude after all, even if he figured it was entirely warranted. Have you read through the report yet, Chief Executive? The Consul General's tired tone floated across the table and through the haze. Matsushita Masaharu nodded, taking a moment to sweep some of his hair back into place. We're in agreement, you, I, Tokyo. How often does that actually happen? A muted smile creased at Takashima's face. Not often enough, yes. The IJ will be available to contribute intelligence to your government when requested. Tokyo is asked to deliver the good news and to wish to mention that they hope such cooperation can, of course, continue. Uh... Ah, and the chief executive considered whether he wanted to risk continuing the history in a thought. Where's Jinon Nagano? I would have thought he'd want to be present at a meeting of this type of nature. He's out on drills, I'm afraid. A scheduling conflict. Very unfortunate. A smile from the consul general. Uh, <clears throat> this time, more relief than anything else. Trust me, Chief Executive, it is better this way. No, believe me, I concur. 98%, no, almost 99%. Nice. And corruption, we're lowering it. Light discussion, and that includes our agenda. Chief Executive, Consul General Takashima snapped his binder shut, taking a drag from a cigarette. A productive meeting, all things considered. I'm sure you have other things to attend to, so I'll let you go early today. Oh, no, I have time. Sure, we can talk about other things in business. A play smile slipped across Matsushita Masaharu's face as he reclined in his chair. Suddenly, so beaming into his eyes. Tell me, Consul General, how are you finding Guangdong? I hope it is suitable for your interests. Oh, yes, it is an interesting city, surely. Very active. There was a bit of reluctance in that answer, Matsushita Masaharu thought, and so he pressed a bit further. Active? Is it as active as, say, Tokyo Nanjing? There's really much to like about it. The food is quite good, the weather is relatively good, but... But... I can't say I don't miss home. I suppose anyone would, and I do wish that I had the good fortune of meeting some of my colleagues. A senior position in the foreign ministry or a good ambassadorship would have been quite nice, yes. Masashida Masahara let the man reminisce further, but he'd heard that when he needed to. Of course, the Japanese viewed Guangdong as a second-rate post, something that was beneath their talents one day, that changed, and they gave this position the respect they deserve. Today, though, he'd have to grin and bear it. Disrespect is never easy to take. Yes, we, if you want to read about guaranteeing the investment once again, please go right ahead. Everyone's thinking it's more Japanese expat support. A little more corruption, but it is what it is. And I might have read this one last time, too. Uh, but anyways, with the influx of investors attracted to Guangdong, we need to ensure that they are satisfied with their decisions. Therefore, we need to guarantee their profits, convincing them that their investments were fruitful, which may make them consider their beneficial long-term investments. This is squarely on where the profits will be gathered from. Currently, we can only scrounge up excess funds from whatever opportunities appear, but at least the investors are happy. Which is good, but some comments include, Can you play as Japan in this mod? I've actually played as Japan twice in this Antino already, so... Finding sources of income. An enormous amount of capital is produced in exchange in Guangdong every single day, but the government receives little of this wealth it helps uh, create. While this may have been tolerable in better times, it remains a wholly unsatisfactory state of affairs. If we were to bring our budget back into balance, that's certain. Uh, uh, unpopular steps will have to be taken. Taxes will be raised to generate badly needed revenue, of course. Ooh, look at that. And where are we at now? 10%. Well, we're going to do that anyways, so we can do this one and do this one again later on, so we get even more Chinese support too. Nine, almost 100% support from the Japanese government. Of course, because you know what? They love us. And who doesn't love us? We love us, right? Maybe not. We'll see. Uh, so I can't do anything there. Uh, police control is very low here, which is unfortunate. Camp attack control is actually pretty darn strong, which is kind of not good for us. Increases control, decreases, increases control. Uh, increases police control. 
but increases government support. So that actually is the one we probably want to do too. This one is very low on the police, and this one is pretty low on the police as well. Waving the flag in 1957. Matsushita Masaharu eased himself into the seat in dinner. At the, uh, into a seat at the dinner table, letting his figure sink into the cushions like a leaden weight from fatigue. In the years since Sony and Fujitsu had gotten the jump by Matsushita and the transistor radio market, Masaharu had been throwing himself into this work, trying to make up for lost ground. Daily checks with distributors on sales, weekly inspections to address factory inefficiencies, and monthly feedback on projects and development. Though Masaharu was no engineer and too senior to lead sales or factory production personally, keeping everything running to his exact specifications was a mammoth undertaking. Even Sony and Fujitsu were dragging each other through the mud and court. A meal at home provided a movement of peace away from the office and the endless shop talking yet. How's the riots? The trade using the new cookery bot uh, brought home yesterday. Masaharu's hand froze momentarily at Sachiko's question before guiding a bite of rice to his mouth on chopsticks. It's good. What is everyone else saying? Oh, the house was raving, Sachiko said, beaming. A taste of home away from home and with a quarter of the effort, just like the ads were saying. At that, Masaharu allowed himself a small smile. The EC36 rice cooker's sales exceeded expectations, and if Sachiko's feedback was accurate, then Masaharu's efforts to make Masashita a household name hadn't been for not. Some good news for Osaka, and one step forward. Yamashi blinked away from fatigue as he looked at the paper in front of him. It's a simple draft of a simple product, and he knows also the result of countless sleepless nights of deliberation, planning, and work. Yes, Yamauchi knew if it was a product that would finally win over Matsushi's support. A vacuum cleaner! The deal was brilliant for a number of reasons. Vacuums were needed in almost every household. The vacuum cleaner was versatile and easy for assembly, finally. The vacuum cleaner was present in almost every electronics store on the side of the Pacific Ocean. Belatedly, Yumachi thought to write those qualities down, they'd be useful for the actual pitch. As he jotted down the bullet points for his presentation, his mind drifted away to, prosperous, to a prosperous future. A feature where Nintendo was an unknown company barely eking out existence in the Three Pearls, but instead, Nintendo was a household name. Appliances bearing the Nintendo name would be present in every home, bringing people across the globe comfort and ease of living. And Yumachi didn't let himself get lost in that night. Nice distraction for the very long, however. He still had an important call to make, and cut wasteful spending. Our predecessors had seen fit to commit government funding to many unnecessary programs, especially in initiatives designed to assist Guangdong's working class. Such programs may have been defensible in better fiscal times, but our prime examples are the sort of frivolous spending which got into this mess in the first place. Funding for these programs will have to be cut if our budgetary shortfalls are to be resolved. We must be careful to avoid provoking too much unrest among Guangdong's workers while also taking crucial steps to bring our budget back into the block. We do what we must. Oh. Oh, we lost this one too, huh? That's dumb. I have an economic crash. we got two weeks left for this one. Can we do, boost anything up here that we want to? Nope, not really. There goes those guys. Poverty's getting worse, but whatever. Our, that's not bad. 32 billion in GDP, not bad either. Another comment says, I don't know that France can align with Iberia. Apparently they can. Go figure. 2.18 political power every single day. Very nice. Um, ooh, six days left. Improved military infrastructure. That's pretty good. I'll probably do this one next. C31 uh, plus. More organization, army organization regain. Uh, the beginning of the cycle. We want Matsushita the most. 15%. Yeah, interest and product quality are never very high at all. Which does kind of sucks. And last time we'll check for this one for now. Ah, I was right. Nice. It's close. Not quite there yet. Alright, so, show target markets. Hmm, we did Chilean once. The Japanese market is not super profitable. And the, we can get more opinion from China itself, which is actually a 61%, which is pretty good. Oh, it's 100%, that's not bad. I don't mind burning a little bit of relations with them. Um, I want to go with Turkish market, maybe. Brazilian? Let's go Brazil. You know, we'll do that one too. We can burn a little bit of goodwill right now. And there we go. Let's we'll see what happens. <coughs> 1949, part one. If you want to read about this, please go ahead. But we're going to talk about raising new taxes. Taxation was a subject that caused an unparalleled amount of tension within the Legislative Council. Unsurprisingly, firms with operating profits balance on a knife's edge often had a habit of lashing out in all directions at the first sign of a raise in, of a raise in taxes. This condition has kept revenues from corporate profit one of the most meager streams of Guangdong's government revenue. Yet Matsushita knew that he would have to find the money for his budget plan somewhere. And though he was not sure whether losing the trust or gaining the ire of the council was something he could afford for the sake of his political or physical health, he knew full well that the clandestine side of Guangdong's giant firms were capable of. He would try to keep that far thought as far back in his head as he could, trying to extract all the confidence he could from the security of his position, he considered his options once more. 
The only other option available to him was the workers of Guangdong and to tax their income. It was something that would cause him much less respect from the corporations, but although he may have been uncaring for the financial situation of the working peoples, he was not unaware that they were already hard-pressed under this current structure. Squeezing the masses any tighter might only add to his future political problems, which are undoubtedly many already. Finally, the chief executive floated the idea of pressing for both options to himself. He already considered the cost of each, and he could not help but be more wary of the possibility that moderation in this matter in the short term may only uh, cause his government to be short of funds when it is most needed. Yet, even with all the authority enumerated to him through the office of chief executive, he could not help stop the inevitable passing of time. A decision had to be made, even if it be painful to do so, there was no voting action had to be taken. Burns, burns on the workers. Because police control in every own state decreases, decreases a lot of support. Uh, business taxes, income tax, corporations will pay their fair share. Cost is the seat. How many seats do we have right now? We have 44. We're going to lose one anyways. Decreases Japan's approval, which is fine. Decreases Japanese expat support. Still increases police control. Huh. Where are we at for now for this one? Oh, we're still waiting. Yeah, we're waiting for a moment. Um, well, where are we at? 85 almost. 60. That's not bad. We need all the money we can get. Everyone will hate us more. Uh, you know what? I'm going to be radical. 52%. So we want more of China's opinion here. Uh, oh, look at that. That actually made us make the police more dominant. Look at that. Go figure. Paying their fair share, ultimately, we ask other corporations to put their, in their fair share. Why should Matsushita bear all the costs of governance? Everyone thinks it's 1% more police. More money, less problems, right? Go all in. Increase miscellaneous income by 0.45 billion. Here's the Japan's approval. We're losing two seats here. We're losing two seats on both sides. Paying their fair share. Guangdong's corporations are undoubtedly some of the biggest beneficiaries of our vibrant markets, yet we receive, receive little in the way of revenues from these corporate giants. Tapping into this resource of wealth would go a long way towards bringing our budget back into a solvent state if at a cost. Certain steps would be taken to encourage the corporations to pay their fair share, of course, unless they find business impeded by regulatory oversets and overzealous inspectors. It goes without saying that this will not go over well with the corporations, and our support on the council will surely suffer, but it's going to suffer no matter what in the end anyway, so. 20% and 25%, huh? It's not great. Where are we at now? 45 and 25. Natsaram is on the line. Nice. Hey, we got a little surplus. That'll help us lower the debt a little bit more. Growth is at 14%, even though inflation's over 5%, which is not ideal. And there's a coup in Jamaica. No. Not the profits. No. No. Salt weapons, huh? Nice. What else we got here? Spending in the new budget. <coughs> the task seems simple enough to complete. When he had sent out the request for the three separate spending plans to be drawn up, but now the Matsushita Mas Masaharu stood over them, he cannot simply not make up his mind. Too many lines of thoughts were tangled in his mind. We determined that the only course of action was to sit down and attempt to analyze matters in as straightforward as manner as he possibly could. Oh, my apologies about that. Um, if you want to read about advancements in computational power technology, please go right ahead. But large cuts uh, to spending were favored by the Legislative Council. They were obviously aware that the smaller the cuts, the more likely they would see their taxes raised. However, there was the matter of the native population, who relied on the services that would see their already limited budget slashed. Uh, those bu people's welfare was of no concern to the chief executive, but their potential for riotous behavior later was on certainly was. The only way to avoid the risk of this outcome would be to lower the size of the cuts. Reducing them to the point where the backlash from the Chinese would be muted would draw out risks, or risk drawing the ire of the members of the legislative council. Striking a middle ground between the two would be delicate and ran the risk of irritating every side. Having made up his mind, Matsushita lifted a pen from his holder on his well-kept desk and felt the weight balance itself inside the grip of his fingers. He angled the nib and signed off on the most severe cuts. Oh boy. Decreases police state in every state by 3%. Compromise. Honestly, with where we're at right now, we already have a little bit of surplus. I'm not super concerned about it too much. Increases Japan's approval. The reduced cuts. Yeah, I want to lower that as much as possible. Because we already did, we already lowered the support a little bit earlier, so. Let's 
Just waiting for another one to pop up here. Probably pops up paying their fair share. Starting to separate. Though we've developed the past the need for newer lines with the Japanese government in Tokyo, we now find ourselves entangled in a web of loans and investments from our Japanese bank and benefactors. In order for us to be able to develop our economy and fill the treasury, we must cooperate with the banks and hopefully who will hopefully be more equitable and candidate than our previous backers. Our finances are secure one way or another, increases liquid reserves, stability good, political power nice. A patchwork budget will be added to our sort of laws. Nice. Oh, we can do this one again if we really wanted to. Um, quality was what? Interest, interest. 12 and a half, 17 and a half more quality. 82 and a half. If we do this one, 82 and a half. Let's go. We'll increase Japanese expat support later on. Paying that god dang fair share. No ordinance are being voted on right now. Sony and Chung Kong really have no seats. It's unfortunate for them, but whatever. Now we'll have a budget check soon in about six months, which is not bad. I forget how much we actually need, but whatever. Corruption goes up by 0.76 every month. That's not bad. Uh, I'll close out of that one, too. Might just push up the, de the deadline, too. Because right now, it won't be looking bad at all. So we're pretty much done with incredible quality, which is nice. We might do 5% more up there. And then focus on the west. west. Well, that's down there, so. Um, you know what? I want this to come back faster. So there you go. And we're done with... Oh. Absolutely beautiful. Nope, oh, and a little bit more lag. <coughs> Let us see, you know, what do you expect? We're at 100%. Oh, almost 100%. Average is not bad, too. There you go. Play to the opposition. I think I read this earlier, but though our goals ultimately include absolute control and domination of the legislation and co legislative council, it remains quite a challenging feat. Currently, the corporations of the new council hold still increasingly amounts of influence, and directly challenging the block of opposition would be a foolish and disastrous decision. In order to maintain our current position, we'll have to appease the other corporations or at least do so on paper. We'll grant them limited leverage and power in the council, surely enough to comfort, to, to comfort much of the representatives. We're we'll assured these minor concessions or temporary measures to ensure the resistance doesn't step against us, and we can and will be changed accordingly. First signs of returns. Digits pour down every page of the document of Matsushita's desk, all in. Ordered rows and columns at his vision shot over as he searched for the data he'd been waiting, waited an uncomfortable few days for. Or something. Uh, it's close to desperation, pulled and pushed into the muscles behind his eyes. His eagerness to see how the projected revenues and expenditure of the next budget was settle was by now unstoppable. Relief would soon sweep away the pent up tension from his body. It was the closest the government revenues had come to being balanced without the need for Japanese support. Even if it were only an estimation, these results were undeniably impressive. Yeah, the concern of whether this new budget would be unsustainable crept in. He cannot let his guard down for a moment, but he may have somewhat rid himself of Tokyo's overbearance, but for now, he had new factions to watch out for. There's no time to sit idly by, there never was. However, he cannot deny the result had come as a considerable relief to the body of a man who had spent his last few days absorbed by irresponsible self doubt. Or irre ir irrepressible. In some respects, Masashita felt there was still needed for improvement. Indeed, a necessity to refine, nevertheless, there's a lot of moment in time to be satisfied with his achievements. Improvements should always be acknowledged. Promises for moderate ex executives. Adherence to status quo. Well, I don't want to do this one. Because it lowers our support. With the Zujim, so promises for moderate executives. Within the mire, the opinions and ideologies of the Legislative Council, a growing passel of corporate executives have developed or developed viewpoints that are foreign to a sizable portion of Guangdong's existing corporate realm. It's moderates who have adopted the beliefs contradict contradictory to the prevailing status quo around gets what they deem exploitation, most of whom are the part or linger around Morita, Kao, and Sony. Though they may seem like over sentimental bleeding hearts, their support would be a great asset towards ensuring that a position as head of the Council is maintained and to keep them satisfied as not to cause any unnecessary agitation. Chief Executive Matsushita will personally arrange a meeting with them, hopefully to some promises and honey words will do. Nice. Anything else here? No? Hmm. 20 days left. I'm sure it will pop up again soon for this one. 1949 Part 2? There you go. Um, if you're worried about this, please go ahead. Fleeting, fleeted feet hurrying to escape the inescapable. Nice. Five days. Oh, wait, whoops. Oops. Oopsie. Should not have done that one. Oh, reapproachment between Germany and Japan succeeds. Oh. Oh, whatever. French Civil War, August Revolution. 
My bad. The NE700 microwave oven. The power of the atoms certainly destroy the world and for the most people, the radiation conjures images of nightmare scenes on nightmare scenarios, of horrific cancers and mutations of a world made unlivable. Well, what can do a cookie also dinner? That's the premise of Master Shooter Electric's new uh, NE700 microwave oven. Using microwave radiation to heat, heat to heat food faster than any conventional oven could ever do. This technology has already seen, it's been seen widespread use in the restaurant uh, industry, but the ovens they use are far too large to be used in a home kitchen. But the NE700 is small enough to fit on a countertop, and promise to be making cooking faster and cleaner than it has ever been before. As the job market heats up, of course, and especially as more women enter the workforce, cooking elaborate meals every day is something fewer and fewer households can have time for, and eating out every meal is prohibitively expensive. The NE700 aims to meet this need and allow working people to cook for themselves cheaply and efficiently, and new additions to the kitchens everywhere. Hey, got more seats, nice. Not bad overall. So, you know, I kind of screwed that up a little bit, but whatever. Oh, we're catching up. We're very close. Oh, we're going to do this again. Um, so, that's 17 away from the highest one. This is 11 from the highest one, and this is 19. So, we're going to work on Chokoi next. This state needs us here the most. You know, you might just keep that open. We'll get there in just a little bit. Nice advancements in audio, visio technology. Does anyone know where the bu play button is on this thing? I camp on the highway. I do what it seemed like. <clears throat> An attorney, the lunch horn, uh, sounded, and Henry K. threw it down his shovel. It stretched his back, groaned, his joints and bones cracked, and wept a rivulet of sweat off his brow. The heat of the jungle lay across him like a cloth, and in the distance, the, the city of Manuas shimmered. <coughs> uh. Even the trees seemed to be sweating, moisture pouring off them and splattering the workers below. As he trudged over the temporary camp, he spotted the rest of his fellow workers on the Trans-Amazonian Highway crowding around a corner of the mess tent. Curiously walked over to them as he tried to muscle through the throng to see what was going on, he was met with complaints and grumbles. Hey, come on, man, I've only been here five minutes, one guy complained as Enrique shoved past him. As he broke through into the front of the crowd, cool air washed over him, and in that moment, Enrique could think of no other sensation he had enjoyed nearly as much in those four years on Earth. The air was coming from some strange machine that had boiled it down to the corner of the tent and bore a logo reading, Matsushita. My God, someone that said next to him, I never want to leave. Last on the course of giving a greeted that statement, Enrique couldn't help but smile. He'd been planning on quitting this crappy job within the next few weeks, and he knew for a fact that there were others in the dorm who were going to do the same. Maybe they reconsidered. Someone was hot anywhere in Brazil, after all, and it wasn't like any of them would ever be able to afford this machine on their own. Blessed relief. Turn a blind eye. Monitor the current level of corruption. Increases, yeah, we want more support. Corruption, an abominable, heinous blot in Guangdong's administration, running rapid through the Legislative Council ever since the tenureship of Suzuki Taichi. It has thoroughly integrated itself into the Council through the years, cash finding its way into the pockets, walls, and coffers of the most unremarkable secretary to the highest echelons of corporate offices, with such an integrated cancer. It is impossible to rid ourselves of it at once, but we can begin to monitor its burn, begin minor attempts to eventually stamp it out. Increased penalties for noticed corruption and the rooting out of certain persons known for corruption would serve as a fine beginning, as we benefit our budget by making governance cheaper in general, and it would affect other companies a lot more than ours. Another comment was to say, regarding security, make sure that you promote corporate security, it just doesn't work. So, uh, so don't go promote corporate security, it doesn't work, so go with higher standards and set up an intelligence network, and also strike the underworld on both sides. Marketplace of iron! Not even the roar of the aircraft's engines outside the cabins could quell the moon monsoon raging in Matsushita's head, sweat pouring down his brow, his belly filling like he wanted to vomit. All he could think of was that the farther he could get away from sinking, the better. He had enough on his plate without this crowd coming down on his head. The Blood of Guangdong Army. The Bugaban Venture had finally ousted the Aizengorios from power. The former Guangdong Army Chief of the Staff, Saijima Ruzio, forming the regional government into a republic. Perhaps not the most worrying thing, and the leadership was somewhat, somewhat more mediocre, but the Saijima was anything. But his speech at his sinking conference, Matsushita had attended, making it quite clear that his intention was far more than some IJA junta, fully intending to streamline and remodel Manchuko's economy and industry up to modern standards. I might as well write like a gunshot right at the chest of Matsushita. On top of every other headache coming out of Guangdong, the already the capital of backroom politics in East Asia, he was now going to have to deal with a resurgent Manchu Kuo, dragging himself out of the fiscal decline, posing a legitimate threat to Guangdong's bottom line, all of which pointed verily to the Legislative Council pointing the cannon right at him. Matsushita pulled a handkerchief from his lapel and wiped his brow. Marita and Ibuka were going to have a field day with this, and I was going to take some convincing on his part to downplay the Manchurian resurgence. He had another harrowing day in the life of Matsushita Masaharu. Oh, we're close. Double overtime, huh? Solicited investment. We're still struggling to meet growth goals but, uh, but set by the mainland, but we know some unsavory figures who are interested in investing in Guangdong. We need that cash injection right now. 
It's underground distribution. Holy crap. All the matters that are factories that meet production quotas. No one ever said anything about how we ship products around Guangdong or internationally. Parime, the pump. Spread the word about a brand new tech firm is awaiting eminent approval to manufacture next generation radar equipment. Should we get investors to buy him? Well, until they realize we're about to share our, uh, sell our shares in it. Some companies have a double selling out their stock. Thankfully, you board a massive market on the ROC. A 40% loss still sounds a heck of a lot better than a 100% loss. Uh, no, I'm okay. Right now, growth is 90%, so that's actually very, very good, but... Corruption Investigation Board, Ordinance. After enduring through several owners and arduous objectives involved, um, we finally reached a discussion of Pivotal and of the utmost importance of previous arrangements and procedures. Currently are nothing but a series of unreinforced proposals. In order to truly initiate the struggle against nefarious practices and compose the anti-corruption body, our design must be realized through a simple vote. If we manage to secure the vote in our favor, this will guarantee a substantial shift in Guangdong's administrative structure as well as we hope a shift to our benefit. Sale trajectory, 1958. With a growing consumer base in China and the streamlined number of costs in Guangdong, Matsushita revenues are back on track to meet our exceed targets. Matsushita Masahara let his final words hang in Matsushita Konosuke's office, waiting for his adopted father to finish thumbing through the presentation materials. Finally, we're on a stable growth trajectory. Konosuke sat outside the provided papers of perfunctory knob, but with the other two firms in the market now, with Hitachi expressing an interest in opening an office in Guangdong, it's only going to get harder. Masahara's face remained unchanged as Konosuke's veiled admonish admonishment at home. Of course, we aren't going to go fall behind any newcomers, so... See to it that you don't, Konosuke said dourly before changing the topic. I've had my secretary book a splendid sushi restaurant for dinner. It's been too long since you and Sachiko were here for any length of time. It'd be good to eat as a family for once. It's impossible to miss out Konosuke's face at Brian as soon as the topic turned away from work. A shift that had led Masaharu to unconsciously grip his papers more tightly. He was talking to two different people, one at magnanimous and one disinterested. Masaharu felt the creeping fear of his 1955's uh, meeting slip back into his soul. He wondered what it would take to expunge it for good uh, from both his soul and his father's. Hope... Hopes yet unrealized. We'll see. An independent body or maintain our influence. I, even, I, I want I want to maintain our influence. I really do. But we do. We will go with an independent body. Corporations do not know best. As we did get a cup of double chai spice latte. Latte? No, no. Double. Double chai spice tea. Ah, nice. Tasty. Delicious. Happy November 5th, as we are still trying to get the police to be very dominant here. And they are, which is a good thing. Product cycle, let's take a look-see, 200 some days, there we go. More growth, please. Always more growth, 20% is not enough. Euros plus is not enough. Inflation? That's enough inflation. If anything, we want less. Huh. Transitional security apparatus, huh? Unmask the worst offenders. Excuse the corruption by quite a bit. Um, if you want about 1949 Part 3, please go right ahead. Were all the stars gone hence that men took their sense of leave? Reconciliation or not, I mean, Kaching, it gets more absurd than the more you think about it. Matsushita doesn't exactly have the best hearing, yet the unmistakable snarl of Morita Akeo, outside the office and around 50 steps down the hallway, failed to escape even his ears. That obtuse uh, tortoise, a meeting with the two of us, what, are his buddies and they let go done with him or something? I dismissed a smirk crept on Matsushita's face as he sat in his weight behind his desk, always so volatile and vocal about his thoughts, that scoundrel. Maybe you want to keep your voice down, Akeo, emerged another voice, evidently more collected and baritone than the first. At least he's willing to talk when the council in his hands, we simply couldn't risk declaring war on him in the open. If there's any chance we have it swaying the establishment in our favorites now, and we can't afford to let it slip up. So it's mostly Morita's comrade in arms, Lee Kishing, Matsushita Muse. Not native, newcomer, and a man cut above his peers in radicalism, yet a cut below in experience with the corporate playground. The council is in his hands? How Matsushita wished it so. The truth is that the grip over the corporate representatives is tenuous as ever, proven by the very existence of the two unruly moderates standing outside his door. Whatever reservations he had about those two, however, he had to concede one point. All of them political strife from the legislative council could benefit none of them in the long run. That's why he sent out the invitations in the first place. He had his demands, they had theirs. Time for both parties to settle matters in private. Matsushita forced his posture uptight as a door was creaked open and the two Zujin and Guangdong strode inside shoulder to shoulder with a dry smile. One of the faces mirroring his own. Good afternoon, gentlemen, he began, cautiously lacing everywhere with a saturating formality. As you're already aware, I wish to discuss certain proposals you will find of mutual benefit to us all. May our partnership last forever. So we only have how much corruption? 2.5%, which is not much at all. I'm the worst offender, so it wouldn't be good to do that and start or start at the roots. Corruption is a swamp. If even if festers on even one drop remains, we must be drained entirely. Bribe our way in. Uh, the remaining have proven their loyalties can be bought. Matsushita simply needs to offer them a better deal. 
Impactor's investigation. An insane amount of corruption. Authorized campfire tie raids. And for the rest, the police and the campfire tie can have them. <coughs> Increases police control, which I do like. Excuses corruption. Let's bring the trap. No man shall stand above Matsushita, not even Stanley Ho or Yoko Yokoi Haidike. Mo attempt to remove Yoko Haidike's monthly corruption game. Eyes and other cor corporations. Huh. Or do we start at the roots? Anti vice super supervisors on the field. The police and our own men within must be beyond reproach. No. Monitor low-ranking bureaucrats. Corruption may be a petty crime at lower levels, and we must eradicate this notion if we ever want a clean government. Ooh. Admonish the perpetrators. Decrease police control again. Expand the punishments. Oh, man, I don't know. I want to start at the roots, though. Bar barging ahead at, at first on the criminal business practice of some of the most powerful men in the Guangdong is not only an ineffective strategy, but also the most potential to damage our own legitimacy and even endanger officials throughout the nation. Instead, it's in our best interest to focus on discouraging and investigating and rooting out corruption on the ground by chasing down those in the open. Not only will this make some aspects of the administration more efficient in the long term, but also implicitly let the more influential criminals know that their days are, of course, numbered. There you go. How much support do we have here? 84. Um, we do it once. That helps us out a little bit. Because right now, it keeps increasing Japanese expat support, but this increases Zujin support and lowers corruption. So, that's good. Comprises 23% of, of the population, 66%, probably 15%-ish, roughly. <coughs> I don't know. Happy December, though. Jiamen? Jiamen? 10%. 10%. A red Australia? No, just a nuclear Australia. Who won the South African War? Ah, the unexpected. Good for them. You know what? We have a little bit of political power. I don't mind maybe spending here. We have quite a bit here. We'll do opinion on both of them. For the moment. Oh! Matsushita's hands left the podium as he began to walk away from the roaring crowd of businessmen and reporters that faced him. Today, the chief executive gave the announcement that he'd been waiting for from the moment he received his promotion. Under the grateful tutelage of Masashita Masaharu, Guangdong to overtake him Manchukuo as the sphere's newest model of economic power. Now he just had a seven meter walk before he exited the stage and returned to his office. Only 200 or so steps to savor this. Masashita's eyes focused on the flash of cameras, his ears on the screams of reporters shouting questions. He could swear one of them called him a visionary. That was, that, this was his moment. Masashita thought to himself, this was the event for which Masashita Masaharu would always be remembered for. A reporter burst through the crowd, asking Masashita what he saw for the future. Uh, he only had one word on his tongue, prosperity. One word, yet two meanings. Prosperity for Guangdong and prosperity for himself. Finally, Matsushita forced himself off stage. Through the double doors in the headquarters proper, a secretary appeared out towards him. Matsushita could swear she was trying to stifle a grim. You have a call from Osaka, Matsushita headquarters. Matsushita beam, filled with the kind of giddy excitement that a man of his stature was only allowed on the most special occasions. I'll take it to my office. The state of Guangdong cheers as the Empire of Manchuria lies beneath us in sheer GDP. The Senate heirs proven the efficiency and capability of the corporate state by relying on the wealth of the Javanese expats and the rest of Guangdong's populace, granting the following effects. More, four more seats. Oh, man. We can burn some goodwill now. The bounce of trade. Yes, that certainly sounds agreeable. Song finally replied, and Matsushita Masaharu's jaw practically hit the desk. What was this? What was happening? The chief executive entered the meeting with folders in hand and no expectations of mine as he leaned or learned to do whatever he mentioned, uh, economic cooperation with the Chinese consulate. There's always something that is opposite that had to break up whatever line of attack he took. Tariffs or Chinese work agreement, or some meaningless piece of bureaucracy back in Nanjing. A consul general both an encyclopedic knowledge of delaying tactics and the skill to use them constantly. Yet, all of a sudden it was as if he'd been replaced by someone who Masashida Masaharu could work with. It was too good, he realized suddenly, stiff, stiffening in his chair. As he watched the consul's eyes flicker over the paper, there was something coming. Do you have any more comments? He mumbled, uh, quietly, hoping his guy was simply misjudging the situation. It anyway, uh, only took a moment for the consul to provide, prove his instincts right. One thing, yes, the consul general commented, straightening in his chair, your corporations, Fujitsu, Sony, Masashida, the like, they enjoy generous subsidies to bolster their profits. If Chinese corporations are to complete, compete in such an established market, it's only fair they receive the same subsidies. Profit for Guangdong, profit for China, victory for us both. Masashida Masaharu frowned. You know very well that Tokyo backs for corporations. They expect me to maintain the dominance, allowing the competition it won't cause too much trouble, but giving Chinese companies Japanese money is a different question. Yes, I imagine we cause some fuss, Song replied in a genial tone, but you're a businessman. Surely you see the opportunities for the Chinese markets here, and you too could be use better trade relations with China, yes? Hundreds of millions of customers just across the border, money in hand, waiting for products from Canton and Guangdong. Please, Chief Executive, consider my proposal. 
Perhaps I can see some of these restrictions if nothing else. Not bad. And we still have a little bit more we can burn, so. Con con concuss. Coordination. They change it. itinerary. Masashida Masahiro practically choked on a seat. Eyes bugging out of his head as his attention shot back to the Wincing Council General. What do you mean they change itinerary? You can't be serious. I'm dead set, dead serious, Chief Executive. Rather than tea, Takashima seemed to be defaulting to a cigarette, as his jolt to start the day. And start of the day they were. The rising sun hung low in the sky, beaming light through the other windows in the Consul General's office for a change. The light to see the rural parts of the provinces, the farms and mountains and such, a breath of cigarette smoke. Caught the Chief Executive square in the face, so, to his murmured displeasure. The beautiful scenery of the countryside and all. You understand how expensive it would be to secure all that? There are bandits out there, Consul General, thieves, robbers, communists. I'll be darned if such a bunch of diet legislators get captured by communists of all people, you hear me? I do, and I know. They expect appropriate security nonetheless. No, no, you listen to me. I control the security. I control where they go. Nobody goes out of the cities on a joyride without me saying so. Takashima sighed, extinguishing the cigarette in one smooth motion. They'd be upset with you, but I doubt any would have the spine to risk it. It's your decision. On a countryside, is it? it is. Um, no. Uh, I'm not going to decrease police presence for that one. Um, I'll give this one too. Corruption. It's not bad, but we could get more support, but we're okay. So we still are at 91%. We get 10%. I was going to decrease by 2.5 or whatever. Liquid reserves are okay. Monthly speed. Oh, no. There we go. There we go. Well, that's how it works. Start of the roots. So, right now, we have 34 votes. Not good. Uh, we even do Sony and Chong Kong. It's still not very good at all. So with this, we get more Chinese and Zhujian government support, admin efficiency begins to improve, decreases corruption by 5%, at a moment's peace. <coughs> uh, if you excuse me, Chief Executive, I'll be bringing you some tea before we discuss the next point of business. Please. A song stepped out with, without another word, leaving Masashida Masahara alone in the office. It wasn't long before his eyes began wandering, foot slightly tapping against the wooden floor. Loosely, his gaze fell upon the bookshelf to his left, filled with academic tomes, and the window behind the Consul General's desk, and then the bookshelf to his right, filled with binders. Uh, marked by neat, neat, neat lettering, then finally settling on the desk before him. Papers, folders, pictures, some frame, one caught his eye in particular. A couple of men in fatigue, smiling before some villager or another, the consul general's face was unmistakable. It only, he'd seen the picture before, it was facing him after all, and it wasn't the only one like that. A number of pictures from the man's soldiering days had found a home on the shelf in window stills. He'd never been brave enough to ask about, of course. There were a few Chinese men with many fond memories of the 40s, and the two were nowhere near close enough to touch that raw of a nerve. Still, he couldn't have fought for the nationalists, and surely not the communists. A soldier of Wang Jingwei. Yeah, that must be it. How else could a Chinese man fight in the 40s remain in the good graces of Nanjing? He moves over what the calm, contemplated discipline would be like in war. It seemed like the type of fight, as with everything in Guangdong, Masashida Masahara concluded, there was more to Zong Zhi Guang than what meets the eyes. The creak of the door and measure of footsteps snapped him out of his daze. There's more to Zong Zhi Guang than meets the eye. We may be able to learn more, which we should be able to. Ooh, economic check. We need 34 billion, which hopefully we get. Hopefully we got it done. Right now, I don't mind using a little bit of corruption because we do have a little bit of space here to do that. So, we get started the roots, lower by 1.25%. Uh, but we'll main independent body. It's time to address a long overdue issue of corruption, the tumor that festers in the deepest sections of Guangdong Square apparatus, draining of, it vital, of vital funds and workplace efficient or efficacy. Out of much deliberation, it's apparent that the wiser option would be to assemble an anti corruption body free of the influence of any corporations of Guangdong, and assemble without a term in each case with, that, with equal judgment. This system would be impar impartial and efficient, but also cleanses us of any potential accusations of controlling a marionette. Though this will impact Masashida correspondingly, it doesn't mean that the once issue is over and exterminated. And we won't be the ultimate beneficiaries, but it is a blow we must endure, of course. Long-term trust is built through equal and consistent application of law, such as it exists. This is going to fit how many sheets of paper? Nice. We have more seats, which is nice. So the greatest story you never told. If you don't know about that, please go ahead. Don't worry. Be happy. We might not expect a dust on it. Um, When Chun... Amon Hin arrived the, with his family in Juka. The crowds were enormous, now transformed into an enormous hot springs resort. The little huts and lean twos of the old village have been replaced with towering new hotel complexes. The air was thick with steam and so warm that Chan could feel his pores popping. Everyone linked hands so as not to get lost, and Chan led his family to their hotel, open leaf only, opened only for a few moments, uh, months ago by Sony. He had booked one room for the four of them, him, and his teenage brother, and his parents, but he didn't anticipate space to be an issue. They'd be spending most of their days lounging in the springs anyway. He left his family with luggage in the lobby and went to find the reception instead. He came across an awkward scene. A cleaner had accidentally knocked a guest cup, a guest coffee cup off one of the tables in the lobby, and he was apologizing profusely as the hotel manager screamed at her. One of the Juco natives, Chan recalled, the poor woman looked like she was about to crumple under the onslaught. They lost all their homes to the developers once the first tourists had started coming here. 
It could have been easy to see their entire lives turn into a service for bathers. Before I could go too far down that line of thought, the chance shut it off. Most of their holiday was going to use the opportunity to relax. Besides, it wasn't like he could do anything for them anyways. The two had not the room had not one speck of dust on it. So get Sony and Chung Kong seats and get a cop on the beat. No command, so which means we need to bribe our own seats, because how many seats do we have of our own? Almost none. So now 12%, because this one will lower it by 1.25%. Uh, to 11-ish. We don't have a ton of political power, which we do need to save up eventually. We can do that one too. Oh. That's a lot of time, but I don't really care at this point. 68. Weapons, anti tank. Nice. And there you go. Very uh, good. 37 seats. We're not going to add that much more seats. Hmm. We need a little bit more time with that one. Uh, decreases police owned states. Corruption has, of course, been a problem throughout the government, from the highest minister to the lowest bureaucrat. So widespread that dealing with the entirety of the system at once is simply out of the question. So we must target our resources at the lower levels of the government structure. The rest will have to be dealt with some other time. Uh, doing those two seats would be a waste. Uh, what is the economic check? And then maybe we'll do it then, perhaps? So that might be for the best. Uh, fiscal health is cautious. That's not bad. Real growth is good. Still all surplus. Nice, nice, nice. Inflation is almost nothing now, which is good. Oh, get out of the police as well. Corruption is now what? 7%. Uh, seven and a half? Yeah, we're almost at zero then. Very good. Um, at the end of the month, let's save just in case. This might not work as well as I hope, but we're going to save and see what we can do with getting everything passed. An independent body. Because we love bodies. Um, I do want to audit them, though. Helping with the economic check. 1949, part 4. Uh, I'm pretty sure this too. If you want to build this, please go ahead. Look at that corruption. Less than 1%. Beautiful, I know. It's not in session, so we'll do this one done first. Corporations know best. Um... Without the corporation to buy in any push to trade, safety for productivity would come to a dead halt and leave Monster Shield Electrics at a disadvantage. And initiate executive reinforcement. Push for a safer, more productive workforce will come from the top down, regardless of political costs. It will bring everyone down to our level and play in the field level regardless. Clamp down on loopholes. Legislative corporate self regulation. Self regulation. Probably do this one. Uh, actually, yeah. <coughs> a satisfied worker is a productive worker. One of the essential tenets of human resources management and necessary for an efficient workforce. Facts has been recognized uh, by us and its predecessors, leading to an array of legislative workers' rights. Rights being strictly defined, of course, though they are official uh, legisl legislation. They are barely recognized or even acknowledged by the sizable portion of the operating businesses and industries of Guangdong. Not only is this a blow to our worker productivity, it perceives our administration as weak and incapable of enforcement of our own policies, which is unacceptable. Matsushita, with his position as chief executive, will begin to crack down on non compliers, largely with hefty fines. Compliance is ob obligatory. Three seats, nice. More expat support, more Zujin support. Ja ja Japanese support goes up by 5%, which means we can burn more support. So we're at 92. We can do this much, 5%, right? So we need to get more political power or increase our liquid reserves. Honestly, liquid reserves don't really matter to me too much. 12 billion. Honestly, political power is probably the way we want to go. There you go. 100%. It's not a love. More cost, but ooh, quarterly growth of the Yakuza influence in each affected region. Also good. That sucks. Oh well. It's February already. Uh, I'm gonna eat that one because you can. An independent birdie. 
Ooh. Yeah, this one's actually getting really close. We're one away from the Yakuza, which is nice. We're going to lose it soon, too. We get out of the places, too. Well, let's get this one done first. I want to see where we're at. Happy March, everybody. Ah, I love I love having tea. Tea's pretty tasty. So now, how many boats we got? 39. Really? A cop on the beat. Must, must shoot a new and intellectually, that's the right thing to do. Law enforcement should be beyond reproach, and that was especially important with the new committee was meant specifically to tackle government corruption. If it was believed that this committee itself was a part of the corrupt power play, its legitimacy would be destroyed from the very start, so it would make its operations completely independent from its authority. It was the only way that people would still take it seriously. It still gave them pause. Sure, the new agency would put a limit on the shenanigans of members of the Legislative Council would get, get up to, which would be one less headache for him, but it also limited its own flexibility. Something, sometimes things that go from the outside could seem like corruption uh, with necessary to uh, the efficient operation of government. Whatever the case, it was too late to get back on it. It was out of his hands now as it should be. So we do this. Sand swords... Oh. Corruption involves a culture of corruption. Corrupt. We lose fortified political power. We can get more police state. That's not bad. Increase admin costs. Decreases seats. Decreases corruption by a whole bunch. So I want to do that with an independent body, but I don't think we'll be able to get that done. So I do want to do that one too, but we just don't have the votes for it. Bribe or own let go seat. We can do five of these. Like one, two, three, four. And then get the fifth one too. But even then... We're going to need to take more time to actually get it, unless there's something else we can do here. Because we got enough seats here to, you know, smash down a lot of stuff here. With anti vice supervisors in the police. Some believe that every policeman in Guangdong could be bought if you have the money. In fact, through the most political police's inefficiency and unreliability could be found in the extent of corruption amongst the officers. None of them can be deemed innocent for certain. A culture of corruption and the security force will have to be ended if we're to maintain control of the people and an extension of surveillance over the force will no doubt uh, achieve this. So we're going to go down that way. And we do have a sizable amount of corruption, the challengers. Oh, come on. Right, so right now we are what? 43. We do this one. We have 50 seats, which is quite a bit. It didn't really change much for us at all, in all honesty. Actually, that's not bad. So it doesn't look like we'll get anything else here. So I'm going to go back and maybe redo this a little bit to give us more time to do all this stuff. Um, so... Admonish the perpetrators. Those within the government who have been found guilty of accepting bribes will be condemned in as severe a manner as possible. All those who work for us must be made aware of what happens to corrupt officials and that they are no longer tolerated. The harsher the condemnation of these perpetrators, the less likely the rest will fall and the cleaner our government will be. And expand the punishments. The words alone will not remove the worst of the bureaucratic culture. More repercussions will have to be faced uh, any corrupt members of the establishment. Anything from large fines and imprisonment must be considered to dissuade them. These measures are severe, but they'll need to be if we are to change just a deeply ingrained part of the bureaucracy. An eventful evening in 1960. With Sony's entry into the Legislative Council, it appears that Masashita turned off the TV inside. What's wrong? asked Sachiko. It's nothing. I just don't want to listen to the news anymore, replied Matsushita, shrugging off the concern. It's about Osaka, isn't it? It's about what father will say about Matsushita getting a new competitor. It's just, what, what is it that I don't have? Is it Morita's local touch and flamboyance? Ibuko's drive and vision? I simply don't understand. Don't say things like that, Sachiko's voice had a hint of anger to it. It's not like you used to be like this. And being pessimistic certainly isn't going to help you with any deal with any of this news either. If you're worried about what he'll say, then you'll know it'll be fierce to see you kicking yourself up like this. The best thing to do right now is for you to push forward and come out on top as best you can. That's how Masashida will survive with you as president. Masashida smiled at her. He had to admit she was right, even if the goal seemed a bit optimistic. After a moment, he gave her the reply she wanted to hear. Masashida will do better, I promise you, as we're enforcing higher standards. Due to a prolonged period of neglect from our predecessors, the Guangdong Police Force has grown apathetic and dilatory. Though we have implemented significantly more demanding and stringent standards, it is apparent that many lackadaisical uh, personnel have quietly dismissed the newly raised bar and fully intended to disobey our commands. So that are utterly unacceptable. Many of the punishments set in place <clears throat> uh, to prevent disobedience has been found to be overly lenient, and as such, uh, will have to be extended and expanded upon, ranging from severe age cuts to direct apprehension. The amendments to the punishments will be transmitted to all the police force personnel, perhaps repercussions will allow them to uh, understand that yielding to the standards is, of course, mandatory. Absolutely is mandatory. So, yep, yep, yep. But uh, we have our higher, higher standards, which is very good. And now we're going to try this again. An independent body. We'll get a few more seats, which should be enough for whatever we need. Uh, so, should be okay. So with that, voting's not commenced yet, which is good. So we're going to do that one more time, even though we have quite a bit of corruption already here. But now I'm not going to touch uh, this as much as I want to touch these two. We're not going to just because we definitely, 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 definitely need, uh, <clears throat> uh, you know, the political power for the products. So, this is not going to go very well for us. 
Hopefully we can get this all done. So we're trying to get to the all plastic compact design for easy storage MC100C? Yeah, about so. Uh, let's see, so product interest and quality. So right now, we have 100% approval, so I don't mind burning a little bit of approval from them. That's okay with me. Um, we're gonna spend a little bit of political power there. Uh, 25% is right there, and we have no political power left, which kind of sucks, but whatever. Whatever, we'll do the best we can, you know. Um, yeah, we'll do this one. Yeah, it's just best to do this next. We should not need any more seats after this. This product is definitely gonna suffer. Oh my god. And are we there yet? Not quite. But we'll do the best we flippin' can. So after we do all of that, independent body. Well, let's at least see together what it's gonna look like after this is it. Uh, 1951, years apart. Or part one. If you don't know about this, please go right ahead. You always think, well, this was easier than some other nights, of course. Um, not bad, not bad. Independent body. Ooh, 27 days left. Ooh, boy. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, we'll probably do this one. This is probably for the best. You know, we can do the other ones. Yeah, we kind of have to. Yeah. Okay, so a cop on the beat. Um, I read this earlier, so it was out of his hands, as it should be, so. Cool. So, with that in mind, where are we at now with this? Let's take a look see with this one first. Air stuff, which is a little different than earlier. So we have 50 votes, which is good. That's exactly what we wanted. So that should be decent for us. 30 days left. We should be able to get that done and initiate executive reinforcement. Absolutely. He says unlimited work date, policy effectiveness. Um, yeah. Clamp down on loopholes. Did I read this earlier? I might have. The rapid disregard for the policies laid down by the Legislative Council of Matsushita is unquestionable and utterly uh, unacceptable and needs to be an appropriate and decisive response. Necessary enforcement and crackdowns have to be executed in order for the image of the administrative and Matsushita control to retain its weight. Punishments akin to fines and governmental embargoes will be issued to continue resistance against the laws documented, making it impossible for the corporation to ignore our presence and legislation for any longer, no matter the nature of their response. And expand recruitment. Technological superiority and strategic dominance may all be well and good of a powerful force, but the true extent of their advantages cannot be reached unless uh, it possesses the necessity of manpower, now that we've ensured adjustments to the system, of course, <coughs> which will fill the ranks of a police force with suitable men, but particularly an abundant source of manpower, the Chinese. The promise of sufficient wages will surely attract expendable Chinese men with fitting skills, who could easily be deployed upon the streets of Guangdong to overwhelm any feasible or mounted opposition. We expect the recruitment campaigns to bear uh, bountiful fruit, which will undoubtedly aid in our efforts to combat resistance and increase police and Chinese government support in all states or little regions. The Middleman. Light streaked into the shattered windows, of course, illuminating jagged shapes on the battered office floor. Um, Officer Lamb showed the contractor into his own mahogany desk while his partner cuffed his hands. It was the end of a two-month investigation, and Bland had found his man a few months earlier. Uh, the contractor made millions selling defective machinery to the big four and pocketing the difference. After a third worker's hand was mangled by a malfunctioning press, the owner traced a part, pointed sale to his office. With Lamb's help, this man fraud his froster cut and dry. The contractor wriggled low below Lamb, attempting to show out in Chinese. Why are you going after me? He spoke hoarsely, his face puffy and red. I was a pawn, the manufacturer wanted to dump off some defective tools and called me in. I just was a patsy, a filly, sir. There he was, bringing up the thread Lamb knew he couldn't pull. This man couldn't have run this operation solo. His parts alone must have been made somewhere, defective or not. Yet Lamb could not get a uh, warrant on any factory big enough to make these parts. Factories that large, uh, that large had allies to keep their hands clean. Only an Zhujin like this made enough mistakes to get caught. Uh, Lamb stared into the eyes of the contractor with a pit look of pity. Don't bother, he said quietly. Act like it was your own creation. I'm going to spin up the power because we are going to be out now. Um, I don't want any more corruption now because it's not good. We're 25%. This is really good. Improve admin efficiency. Get more Zuzhin and Chinese support. 5%. That's not bad. Decrease the description by 5%. Increases Japan's approval by 2.5%. Um, because we did this one, we lose 45 political power, get even more admin efficiency, increases police control, Zushin support, Chinese support by a lot. Which we actually might be able to lower Chinese support a little bit, decreases Japanese expat support though. We do lose a seat, lose ultimately 13% corruption, which is very good, decreases Japan's approval ultimately a little bit more, and increases China's approval. Um, that's quite a bit. I don't mind maybe actually hitting our Chinese support just a little bit. How much support? What are we at for support? Oh, we lost this too, that's not good. Uh, kept at 85%, 76%. I don't want to be spending just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of Chinese or support. Um, I don't know where it is there, but 45 days. 
put it on. There you go. So now where are we at? 67. 80%. That's pretty, that's pretty gosh darn good. And now we have negative 40 political power, so that's kind of sunk us. But, where are we going to focus? I think this time. Let's sell to Ar Argentinians. Expand recruitment. Sounds like fun. Um, but, of course, we're going to do a countdown on the loopholes. If you're going to do that again, please go ahead. Decreases receipts, improves poverty. Um, so. Oh, growth goes down a little bit more, too. This is more support, except Japanese expat support. Our sense of duty. Ooh. <laughs> the media of Guangdong is a power that is to be harnessed and exploited. Its exposure messaging is unrivaled in the urban jungles of the Three Pearls and beyond. In order for an administration to be respected, we must spread the word about our innate benevolence and the gifts that we have brought under the populace of Guangdong, however true that may be. We encourage the media into displaying policy that we've enforced that may contribute to the betterment of working conditions. Let the word of our consideration be known across the factories and the workplaces of Guangdong. Beautiful. We still get 2.26 every single day, which is pretty decent overall. Um, approval. Can't lower it anymore for now. I d Ooh, yeah, that's much better too. 1951, part 2. You want to do this? Please go right ahead. Uh, so where are we at now? We are at 90% and 62%, which is not bad. Uh, profitability is pretty decent right there too. I want to get this one as well. Awesome. Um, we can do this one. Introduce this in the council. The least we can offer. Add Sony and Chung Kong seats. Honest pay for honest work. Sony and Chung Kong seats. 25%. Poverty begin to improve. Poverty begin to slowly improve. 1.5%, 1.25% for the Zijin. 2%. Decrease Japanese expat support. 2 by 2%. 2%. Improves basic worker standards, avoid excessive injuries and fatalities in the workplace. A minimum wage in Guangdong to alleviate the industrial workers. Well, poverty begins to improve, which I do want to improve as well. I think I want to do this one. Honest pay for honest work. That's the duty. And we'll grab whatever else we like this one we can, if possible. Uh oh. Or just say screw it and just. Uh, how much more corruption can we get rid of over here? Uh, train the next generation. Merciful heart. Uphold Japanese dominance. Beginning of an intelligence network. Yeah, we definitely want to do that one. Mm, provide adequate funding. Contacts in the underworld. It's easier to have rats do the job for us. Begin seeking contact with the tribes and the Yakuza to that end. I've got to provide adequate funding. Testing approach. There's not much more we can do if we're trying to get rid of corruption. So, we don't want to take any more corruption, that is, at least for now. Clamp down on loopholes will be good. Yeah, I don't want any more corruption. Ten days. So we can't delay it anymore. We might as well do something here. We possibly can. Ten days left. Um, so where are we at? We are 90%. If interest would be better to do, but we can still do something up here if we really wanted to. That's 10 days, so we can't do that one anymore. There's no point in doing that one. Uh, seven days left. Are we capped out here yet? No, we're getting closer. Oh, wow, look at that. We even got these guys, too. We're not capped out anywhere here. Everyone loves us right now, for the most part. This would be a waste. Even five days for interest? There's not much. Well, we'll do that one, and that'll be it for us. Clamp down on them loopholes. That would be fantastic. Our sense of duty, my friends. Hey, the vacuum cleaner, nice. Vacuum cleaners have always been on the market for some time, but they've been bulky, unwieldy, and primarily used by professional cleaning companies. As though the average middle-class hospital wife would never be caught using one, as they're generally viewed as a tool for the help. With the release of Matsushita Electric MC-1000C, they may be changed. It's designed to be small enough to maneuver around corners and light enough to carry upstairs. The MC-1000C also comes in a sleek, stylish design that makes it look more like a household appliance than a piece of industrial equipment. With these innovations, Matsushita hopes to make the vacuum cleaner an essential tool for every housewife. Get yours today! Hey, we increase our seats too. Not bad. 
Alright, sensitivity, my friends. Oops, did I cancel that? Oh, crap. So I'll do that one and then I'll clamp down on loopholes too. I might have to reload the save because that was my fault. I should not have done that, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, but product cycle is nice. But let's read about Argentina and see what we can do next because I. Titans in color. Want to also increase police control. 12%. We'll probably do. Decreases. Ooh, I like that one too. Cracked on underworld connections. That's very good. Why well, would we do this one? The kids were getting restless. Felipe did clearly know what he was doing. Crawling around all over the big silver box with a screwdriver. Anita shushed them all, slapping the youngest son when he decided his tongue was too big for his boots. And sent concealed glares Felipe's way. He spent almost their entire disposable income for the month on this little gadget. As Felipe played with an antenna and consulted a manual he definitely couldn't read well enough to understand TV, the TV suddenly flicked on, and the children cheered. Titaness and El Ring was on in inglorious color. Well, Anita had been skeptical, she had to admit. What was wrong with the good old black and white, she asked Felipe. They already knew what color people were, didn't they? But no, this was really different. As the wrestlers pummeled on a slamming children to the ground, extremity outfits displayed on the vibrant hues on the TV screen, Felipe and another kid shouted and egged on their favorites. When he decided, smiled faintly at the whole spectacle, and this went to enjoy a nice cup of tea. Who said technology didn't pay? But we're going to end the episode there, my friends. If you enjoyed the video, though, leave a like, subscribe if you are new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and we'll see you tomorrow. As we keep making it in Guangdong, a place for you. Me, and maybe the Chinese in Zhujin. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.